Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Viaran and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how you can change your guild marks in order to make some astral diamonds. But first things first, I want to give a sh shout out to Cottonmouth Soldiers for letting me use their second guild because the second guild has the treasure hunter boon and that really helps during this event which is the double, pro double professions event. So, you're going to get your guild marks, you get guild marks by donating to the guild, the guild coffer, guilds in your alliance, whoever you're donating to, you'll make guild marks. And you want to come over to this merchant here, the generalist, and we're going to go over to scrolls. Now if you're a master crafter you already know what these are, this is where you farm your materials for master crafting, and, um, but I'm going to show you just how to make AD rather than the master craft part of it. But you master crafters, you can get whichever ones you need, whichever materials you need. But um, anyway, we're going to go for the caverns. These seem to be the quickest, which is why I've got a few of the caverns. I've got about 25. I have already farmed 25, but the thing we're looking for from these is the gold ore. They've got a decent drop rate. And you also want to make sure you have on... The treasure hunter boon. Not all guilds have it, so ask around. A lot of a lot of guilds usually have a second guild that has it, just in case the alliance needs it. So we are gonna open one of these cases right now, and then we're gonna accept the quest. It will tell you to go to the whispering caverns. So let's go to the whispering caverns. And once it's loaded, it's going to give you a path. So I'm going to do two rotations uh, just to show you what the quickest way that I think is to farm these. I did 25 yesterday. I saved 25 for this video. I'm not going to do all the 25, but I did want to do a video on this regardless anyway. So it's going to spawn you in at the usual spot. Uh, the mobs are not going to hit you. Uh, depending on your level as you can see I've got gold quests I have not done this instance because I bought my character like I bought the level 70 and we are basically going to go over to the left hand side so we're going to ignore this one because we're going to start the, the rotation so we're going to go down here and we're to go and take a left here okay this is the first one we're going to hit Make sure you got your treasure hunter boon on. Again, we're doing it during the double professions event. And we're going to open them up. So we got gold ore already. That is what we're looking for. Because we it is double professions and we've got the treasure hunter boon, we're getting four. Usually you would get one. Uh, during the event, you will get two. Add the treasure hunter boon on it and it will double again. You will get four. As you can see, the drop rate is really decent on the gold ore. We're going to go this way and we're going to go up here to collect this one now. This is the rotation that I found easiest and we'll do it for the way back as well. Um, the concentrated residium, it does sell. And so does the slaked lime. It does sell eventually, but it's the gold ore that we're actually looking for. And once I've done these two, we will check the prices. And we'll see how much AD we've made so far. I would have done 27 scrolls. Uh, scroll cases. So out of 27 scrolls. We'll see what AD we've made. And we'll see what AD we can still make. But if make sure you do influence every day. Especially during the double influence events. Make sure you're doing the... Uh, shard quests every day because shards are the main source of guild marks if you can buy chests of power if you're sitting on a few zen buy some chests of power again only open the chests of power during double shard event and only donate the shards during a double guild mark event that's the best way to do it so we're just going to complete this rotation here and then we're going to go back and then we'll call an end to the video because I've got a lot of farming to do There you go. I put it in the top left of my inventory just because it's easier to put it there. It's easier to get to. I don't have to be looking through my inventory, so. Low quality of life improvement. 
and the way back the way back is essentially the same rotation you just do them all the same way you did them on the way forward so after this we'll take a left up here and we'll do this one and we'll go behind us do the one in the middle but yeah guys this is a really easy way that you can make some AD and you don't even need to buy anything all you're doing is helping the guild whatever guild you're in you're helping them you're donating influence every day you're doing the shard quests you're donating whatever vouchers you pick up from your daily key or whatever and yeah all them guild marks after a certain amount of time they do add up and you'll I used to get about 200 cases but because Midnight Bayou coffers are full uh, it's made it a bit harder and yeah so we're gonna go down here we're gonna go get the last two then we'll call the end to the video if this video did help you out guys be sure to leave a like leave a comment let me know you got to this part of the video and after this all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be farming gold ore I'm going to be making a little bit of AD and that's it guys make sure to subscribe if you are new we're closing in on a thousand subscribers I really do appreciate it and that's it guys Thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next video. What's going on guys? I've just actually closed the video um, without checking the prices. So we've done 27 and we're just going to check the gold ore because that's all we care about. So gold ore, how many have we got again? Uh, 340, we got 340 gold ore. So 340, that's 690, uh, we made about 800k so far, out to 27 scrolls, so yeah guys, this is really profitable, just make sure you're donating and you will get your scroll cases over time, now I'm going to end the video uh, for good. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there.